Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you guys a utility that should be running on your cell phone. It's going to save you so much hassle. And somebody asked me to do a video showing how to get this multimeter back into English. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, it is not easy unless you have this utility app on your phone. And what I'm talking about is Google Translate. You can see it's that bad boy right there. Boop. So Google Translate. I'm going to go ahead and load it up and show you. Now, I sometimes will have Spanish to English because that's usually what I'm translating. Um, but you can also go in and say detect language. And I'm going to put it to English. So now that I have that set up, now you have this really cool option down here that's called camera. And it's going to activate the camera and it's going to be a live translation of whatever it is that you're seeing. So I'm going to go ahead and on my meter, I'm going to put it in Chinese. Now notice, if I hit one button, the button that says English, if you hit that button, your meter is gone. Like <laughs> There's no going back from there. There's What do you do? So down here at the bottom, there's a little button called Menu. And if you tap the Menu button, you're going to see a whole bunch of hieroglyphics on there. And this is where your telephone app comes in handy. Now, mind you, there are medical devices, there's test equipment, there's all sorts of stuff that might be in the wrong language format, and you can use this to help you along that way. But also, think about it, schematics are often in German, or they're in Chinese or Japanese. You can use this app to translate a schematic live on the fly. So right here, you're going to see it had a little dialog box that said, um, aim at the text and if you hold it you can see that stuff pops up live and the second button right here which has got the most characters in it I believe is called user options so I go ahead and press that one and there we go you can see the second button over you see how it says Chinese right there so that would be this button right here you press it and look, it magically goes back into English. There you go, it's ready to use. So let's go ahead and try that again. You're going to hit the menu button. One of the menu options is going to show a bunch of arrows. Don't select that one. Select the one that's got just a bunch of characters. And hold your phone up and you can see it will live translate. And the second to the last button, this one right here, it says user options. So I'm going to hit that one and hold your phone over it again to read the menus and you'll see that the second button over says Chinese. So the second button over, I'm going to hit it, now you're in English and it's good to go. Hit menu, exit out, now you're in your regular meter mode and it's correctly in English. Anyway guys, there you go. Using your Google Translate app, it should be just sitting on your phone ready to go because these type of situations where you're going to run into a schematic or maybe a, a data label on something, you don't understand what it says, what the characters mean, just load up the app, go into your camera and read it live and you should be good to go. Anyway guys, that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.